Men's Series will be coming up, followed by the Hornets to finish out our program here this evening. Yellow light is turned off. We have all eight cars. We're gonna have all 15 laps, hopefully, under green flag conditions. Tim Benninger, let's go! Jeremy Nichols smoked all the sportsmen on Wednesday night. He's got a little bit of work to do now as Timmy Dick, who's been winning the last few sportsman races here at Macon Speedway, he's out to the lead. Timmy! Timmy Dick having just a little bit of trouble Going through the top side of the racetrack, Jeremy Nichols coming along. He's still in second place, chasing him down. Well, there goes D98, Daddy Smith. Daddy Yellow is out on the Danny Smith D98. Timmy Dick, let's go! Jeremy Nichols going side by side, a slingshot with 22, Timmy Dick. He's gonna try it up on the bottom. No, here comes Timmy Dick, keeping up top. He holds on to the lead as they go crying, flying by, oh no, to the wall! And Timmy Dick blasts the concrete. in the race now for third place, right behind Jim Benninger. Vandermeersch opened up the door, and D98, Danny Smith takes over second place halfway through this one. Danny Smith is hauling the mail. Look at him go, riding up towards second place after having to go all the way to the back during a caution a few laps ago. Goal this time around, J24, Jeremy Nichols. One lap to go, look out, Timmy Dick. Facing the wrong way. Dennis Vandermeer was taking lap to work with if he can try to get by Jeremy Nichols. Here we go, green, white, checker, finish, here they come. White flag coming around. Jeremy Nichols holds off Danny Smith, wins the sportsman feature. Make it two features in a row this week. Winner on Wednesday night at the Taylorville County Fair, the Christian County Fair. R&R Services, Parks Services, Pops Place. 
Dr. John Kafalis, Central Illinois Bone and Joint Center. LG Seeds, Jeremy Nichols. And a good run by the ATI Services, TSR Graphics and D98, Danny Smith. Jeremy Nichols in victory lane and making speedway again. Former bomber driver, Jeremy. It's been a while since you've been back in victory lane here at Macon Speedway, but not too long since your last feature win. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Timmy, uh, we help each other out and um, helped him with his car rear this week. And uh, I had a good run again Thursday with him. And, um, you know, it seemed like he's been beating me uh, since I've been coming down here this year. And uh, I'm glad we got one. But uh, I, I didn't know what happened to him there. I think he jumped the cushion or something. But uh, just some hard racing, you know what I mean? Good friends, and uh, that's what it's about. That's right. That would have been a great finish had it stayed that way probably for the last 11 laps. But uh, he still finishes in sixth place. But uh, Danny Smith was right on your tail. I don't know if you saw Danny. Yeah, I seen Danny there in a the caution, but uh, I wasn't for sure who was behind me. I thought maybe it was Danny, but uh, yeah, good job to Timmy and, and Danny, and you know everybody that's been keeping the sportsmen's uh, alive as much as what we can, and uh, hopefully we get some more cars coming. And uh, can't wait for a mile. We also got to make up the uh, the rain out from the topless forty coming up here in the near future. You got these Moa Sprint cars. You ever had any desire to race one of these things? Actually, I have. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for that opportunity. <laughs> Anybody got any money for Jeremy Nichols, he'll gladly talk to you. There's the J24 from Shelbyville. He's in victory lane. And we send it up now to Wayne Hewlett's ready to talk about the Moa Sprint cars.